Hi, Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle here with Chief Randazzo at our animal control shelter. Uh, Chief Randazzo is the guy who actually runs the shelter and uh, we know there's a recent incident that had happened up in the northern part of Macomb County uh, involving an, an animal uh, that was abused and there was some video that was put out as a result of that and it came from within the house. And so with that, we had to respond to it and the dog that was removed along with the others uh, is Josie and there's been a lot of comments and a lot of questions about where is this case at and you know what's going to be happening. And uh, Jeff just recently came from uh, what they call an arraignment that took place up in the Romeo Court. And uh, there was some activity that did take place and uh, some direction. And I think the public is going to hear about it through the news media. Uh, Jeff had some involvement because he was asked by the judge uh, to step forward and kind of contradict some, I guess, uh, statements that were made about what might have happened. And uh, it is not unusual, the defense attorneys are always working for their clients, and we understand that. Uh, but in this situation, I think there was an attempt to try to get the dogs backed. Uh, Jeff had to step forward along with the prosecutor in this case uh, to make sure people understood the severity of this and uh, the seriousness of how we are going to be responding to it. And so Jeff, you were there and uh, they did ask you to say a few words and I know they were trying to, first and foremost, uh, they wanted, or should say, the individual who's being accused wanted that dog back in the house and based on that video, uh, there's no question, we wouldn't put people, uh, kids back into a home if we saw that type of abusive activity and you weren't about to let that happen. Exactly, and even the prosecutor um, stood up and she said exactly that. She said, had said, you know, if these were children, you would not put those kids back in the home and the judge agreed. And so her and I both, uh, you know, made statements and we, you know, we kind of went through the video as well about how he's, you know, this is very violent, you know, it wasn't, you know, he's, he's you know, kind of, you know, hunting the dog down, seeking the dog out. So we talked about those aspects and also said that, you know, they're, we should be taking it seriously enough and never, at this moment at least, giving those dogs back. Well, that's interesting you say that because most people who did see the video, I mean, there was no question. I mean, it was, it was abusive, uh, but there are some people that are, you know, questioning as to whether or not that was just disciplining the dog or trying to, you know, establish that, you know, alpha nature. And, uh, you know, I looked at it and I'm thinking, I don't know anybody, especially somebody who's a veterinarian, that would ever think about that being a way of training a dog. And right. uh, I think it was without question mistreatment. And I think, you know, I think most people are seeing it that way as well. And I think, you know, I do. I think that, you know, the judge and them as well, you know, saw that as mistreatment. And I can't, you know, speak for her, but, you know, they have publicly had heard her statements. And uh, definitely the prosecutor. I mean, we, you know, her and I both, you know, stood up and, and talked about the impact that this has on our community and that, you know, here in Macomb County, we took it seriously. We got in front of it. And that's, today was that arraignment. And I think so for now, we know that that's not going to happen. The dogs are going to be in your care still, in your custody. And so with that being said, you're working right now and you've vetted some people that are going to be fosters for these dogs. Correct. And uh, there are going to be locations they're going to go to that they're going to care for them. And they're going to obviously have a great place to be in the meantime as this case plays itself out in the courts, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Exactly. That's exactly what we're doing. It's important to get them out of here. And, you know, we did have uh, interviews with the foster homes and talk about the case and the importance of decompression and enrichment and so they'll be um, hopefully over this weekend get placed. Yeah, I and mean, we understand there's a licensing issue and it's a you know, licensing agency and regulations, uh, LARA, they are a state agency. They're the ones that determine whether or not uh, veterinarians have license and uh, they're the ones that control those licenses. And so at any point in time, if somebody is concerned about it, there can be a complaint filed and they will look at that independent of a criminal case. And uh, we know there are many people from the public that have already done this. There are people from outside you know, law enforcement or you know, uh, people like yourself that have already done that, but you too have already sent uh, some kind of a complaint uh, for an investigation based upon this case as well, challenging the license of this particular individual. Correct. Okay. I thought yeah. that was important. And that follows a, a different process. They'll, they'll do their own independent uh, review and make a determination if there's any sanctions, if there's any uh, penalties on uh, this particular individual's license as we move forward throughout this case too, correct? Correct. Okay. Yep. I think today was a, a good point was that I think felt like it was a, a good step in the right direction. Good. Yeah, that's just a quick update to kind of give people information because we are getting inundated and thankfully so. I mean, it just shows me that people do care about animals as much as they care about human beings. And yet there's sometimes not enough people out there that are stepping up on behalf of those that can't take care of or step up for themselves, and especially watching cases go through a court process. And so, you know, uh, we know there's going to be a lot of media attention to it. There are a lot of the uh, uh, local news stations that are up in that court. So we know uh, people do care about uh, the treatment of animals. And 
and uh, I know that that's the particular case with Jeff and his team over here at the animal shelter and we're going to keep on this case we're going to keep an eye on it we're going to keep you informed uh, as this continues to progress through this because you know people that do abuse animals need to be held accountable and uh, we're going to make sure that in this particular case uh, there's justice for Josie obviously uh, the, uh, the, the uh, German Shepherd here uh, that we have in our care so we want to thank you uh, for tuning in we want to thank you for your support on this and continuing to work with us as we progress through this case so again continue to keep you and your family safe as well as your pets.